You're not that poor. You can pay attention. It's very critical. Pay attention. You want to learn about natural medicine? Pay attention. Psychoneuroimmunology, the growing field of study that blends behavioral science, neurological, endocrine, and immune science all together. We've known for a long time that the mind, the body, the brain, the psychology, all of this is combined. That we have a physical body, a psychological body. There is psychosomatic disease where the brain affects the body. Then there's soma, psychotic disease where the body affects the brain. This is all one big cycle. We cannot really deal with separatism, reductionism. We have to deal with holism in the entire whole body if we're going to deal with the full human being. What we're discovering, bi-directional conversation between the inside and the outside, thoughts affect the physical body. The physical body affects the thoughts. The immunology, the hormones, all of this interrelated. That the brain communicates with the body through the autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic, the sympathetic nervous system, all in a balance. Fight or flight. All of this is very important. Rest or digest. Immunity versus action. All of this has to be involved in a balance. In order for us to achieve total health, to be able to process the factors in our mind and be able to deal with the things that life presents us, when the balance is off, then we get a one-sided signal. Everything is out of balance. We can calculate our energy index by measuring the blood pressure with the high rate and the low rate times the pulse. And we get down to an energy index. A perfect is 14,000. If it's too high, that means that you need potassium, and you're over sympathetic nerves. You have turn on system, over sympathetic nerves. You need potassium. You need stress reduction. Now, keep in mind that a constant stress brain will create physical structures. And create a decrease of the immune system. Now, when you have too low, you have sympathetic, the parasympathetic system. Now you need calcium. You need joy. You need activity because everything is now too low in your system. Back on the energy index. Neuropeptides respond to your emotion, and the emotion to the neuropeptide. That travel through the bloodstream and reduce the number of immune cells. So we have to reduce stress to build immunity. Physical changes that happen in the body make us then from stress we get sick more often, decreased ability to fight serious infections, increased inflammation, pain, host of other things, chronic inflammation, autoimmune conditions, reoccurring infections. Blood sugar, all of this can be done and created by brain psychological disturbances. The inflammatory system creates molecules that help to deal with stress, worry, repetitive thoughts, all in a balance of the autonomic nervous system, the fight, flight versus the immunity digestion. All of this happens. Sometimes there's a problem in the autonomic nervous system. Between the sympathetic and parasympathetic, this will create a vasovagal syncope, which means fainting, dizziness. These things happen as well. We have to learn how to deal with these things in biofeedback terms. As we start to deal with the emotion, it becomes apparent that the mind body needs to be addressed if we want to get to the root cause of any disease, of any patient. We need to understand that. Disease begins in the gut, and only by stabilizing the gut flora can we start to treat mental health and disease. We have to be able to stabilize the bowel flora and recognize that inside the gut, all of the hormones that we need for good brain function are here inside the gut, made by the bowel flora. The drug companies tried to make their synthetics, their unnatural, and they just didn't work. 
All of these brain hormones need to be made in the natural system of our gut. We need to recognize that if there's a problem, we can get leaky gut, leaky brain. And this is how there are many different problems of stress that happen inside the body. And now we're starting to recognize that fiber is so needed by the system that we all need to have fiber. And it's the whole plant foods that offer the best diet and weight loss formulas for ourselves. We have to get back to giving them fiber. Whole plant foods in the cell walls have the fiber that's needed to make all the hormones needed for life. So our psychoneuroimmunology is all connected. Everything's connected. The diet, the bowel flora, the brain, the immune system. And if we're going to be able to deal with patients, we have to be able to tell them what not to eat, all the factors of what not to eat. Don't eat synthetics, processed food. Don't eat the synthetic sweeteners, these patented sweeteners, they're really bad. We have to tell people, stop boiling foods in oil. French fries can kill. We have to tell them to get away from the white starchy potatoes and get something a little more healthy. But they can go into getting the sweet potatoes, that the sweet potatoes have much more fiber and they fight cancer and they have much more vitamins. But these are the things that we need. And we need to substitute in our diet. We need to strongly substitute the white potatoes by taking out them, putting in sweet potatoes, put in applesauce, apple smoothies for sugar, get rid of the processed sugar, get the high fiber applesauce, apple smoothie. Recognizing as we change these things, we can start to get back to health and deal with our psychology and deal with everything. And we need to recognize we have it we can't pay attention, we can learn.